Hi, right, welcome everybody again. <clears throat> this is a, uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm working on a cover plate. Um, the viewer asked me to create a cover plate uh, with a silhouette. So I got the silhouette and incorporated that into the image and created an outlet cover. So I'm working on a double toggle switch. If I can uh, tweak this link it up. Give me a moment here. <clears throat> All right, so I need to work on this sketch. So let's see, not that one. We'll turn that one off. And we'll work on this one. And it's from these points I'm going to derive everything. I have a drawing that I found online that provides the dimensions for the switches so the opening <clears throat> the opening is one inch tall and three eighths inch wide so we'll start that in the middle and then we'll move things around one inch three eighths inch uh, which is 0.375 inches. Okay, then the next one is <clears throat> the mounting hole. And that is 2 and 3 eighths or 1 and 3 sixteenths up from the center. Do this a little construction. So this is a construction rectangle, and then we could do two point three seven five. Nope. Oh. Yeah, that's the height. But inches. And then this really doesn't matter. But I'll do uh let's see what are they saying here? One and seven eighths. So this will be one point eight seven five inches. <clears throat> and then we'll do this is where the holes are gonna be. So one here and one here, and I'm going to move this guy over to the center. So let's mac, let's add a point there. So a point right in the center. Point here in the center, and we're going to move this rectangle from point to point. Do it from here to here. That is not what I wanted to do. I'll just draw a new rectangle. Will not be construction. We'll do 9.525 and 25.4. <clears throat> then we can copy. 
Nope. Paste. Break him. Point to point. Take it from there. No, I need a point on there. Right there. Move, copy, point to point. Yep, one more line. Direction. There we go. And I can delete this rectangle. <clears throat> Alright, then we need our holes. There was a hole that I drew here. Let's copy that same one. Move from point to point, center point. There. <clears throat> point to point. I should be able to copy these two point to point. There we go. So now we got our layout there. Turn this back on. And let's save this. Now what do we have now? Our version two, we'll make this version three. <clears throat> Let's save as uh, cover toggle cover. So these elements I can delete, I think. And this one I can delete. Stop our sketch. And <clears throat> So now this whole thing needs to be filled back in, All right? So I can select the inside there. I can extrude. And that's from the top, and we'll go all the way to the bottom. A little slow. Go back up. And we'll go from point to point. 
think I can do it to object and just pick that. And that should fill it in. So now we're solid again. <clears throat> so we want to cut these objects out. Just do these two now, get them out of the way. Come on, select this one. Extrude through. Just cut this, we no longer need, so we can fill him in. Strewed. Come through to object. Oh, hey, hey, Matt. Hey, River. How'd you make out with the uh, repair? No, it's not taking it. There we go. I think that's it. There. We're solid again. Because I don't need that hole. That was left over from when I was working on the outlet cover. Alright, then we need... Need to drill out these. You know what? what is it? I'll make it easier. All right, now we'll drill through. We got our holes. Now <laughs> look, I got to fill that in. That's funny. Little spot I forget. River, was it you or Ron who had to fix the cycle? Five millimeters. <clears throat> All right, and then this guy, we're just going to take down a half a millimeter. And let's see how that looks. I don't see nothing. Strewed. Come on. You want to go down. Five, make it a five. I'll do it. Looks like I did the wrong thing. Let's undo. Oh, that's sitting above. So let's extend this upward. 
I select this face. Turn the sketch off. Select that face. Move copy faces and we'll go up to. See, can I do two object or two point? We'll go from this point here. There we go. All right, now I can do this better. Extrude. There we go. That worked. All right, now I want to do a little bit of a chamfer here. I don't know if I could do multiple at the same time. Nope. Not with me. Give me a hard time. I wonder how much I should do this. Two millimeter, three millimeter. Don't know if that's too much. I'll do two. Edges. Oh, you know what the issue is? Yeah, I see it now. I need to grab that edge. Because this this is sitting above. Right? So I can turn off sketch. I don't need that on. I just grab that. And we'll do the same thing here. And that's interesting that the uh, the profile follows it, but I'm okay with that. Is that that's like an artifact left over. We don't need that. Let's move the face down. And we'll just free move to now what's the thickness? I just hit the I key. 4.5 millimeters. All right, so now I need the cover plate to kind of wrap around the switch, right? So if it's flush on the switch, it means it's probably going to stick out from the wall. So I need to extend a lip around this. And then, Rover, are you still here? Like, I think I need to do a supports because this is going to be printed out so this part will be flush with the wall but this part so this is going to extend downward but then there's going to be a cut out here let's draw that here Do a p to project on this face I cut this out. 
think I can just draw a box around this. Uh, center rectangle. Maybe. Maybe that far. And then I'll do some fillets in here. Forty five. Oh, okay. All right, so then I'm going to extrude out this opposite region. Let's see, um, plate thickness is a quarter inch, I think. Yeah, quarter inch. I think, um, at millimeter, five millimeters. So I can go down 1.5 millimeters. Here we go, here's our part. We're done. So the other thing I might do is just chamfer this a little bit. Let's turn sketch off. Just a little bit. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. That's a big plate. I hope that there's room between the end of the wall and this. And by building this out this way, I think it'll be fine. Five millimeters. Let's take a look at what five millimeters looks like. All right, so that's five millimeters. I wonder if I need to make it thinner. Maybe push that part up a small amount. So let's uh, move, copy, and... Push that up at negative one. So now the thickness of this is uh, four. So if I measure from here to here, 2.5 millimeters. 
That should work. All right, I think I'm going to give this a go. So let's uh, save this. All right, we'll do, uh, what are we at now? Version four. And 3D print, except I'm not going to 3D print. And we'll go high quality. And then we're going to go to toggle switch. All right, now we want to slice this puppy. And then we can start 3D printing. I think I'll change the filament. Dang, I didn't consider size. Might be too big. Rotate uh, along the y axis, negative 90, I think. Nope, x axis, negative 90. And go the other way. It's 200 by 200. <laughs> Dude, that's a range. This is taking up the whole plate. The extents are 205. So this is a uh, this is pretty big. Oh, 4.2. Okay, so I'm I'm damn close then. Because I you subtract 2.5 from six something, so that's that's very close. Yeah, thanks. And that's the thickness of the material, right? But then of course it wraps around, so its overall profile is higher than 4.2, or is the the whole or is the entire profile 4.2? All right, now slicing this, I think I need supports. Uh, see, should I do a raft? Comment if you think I should do a raft or not. Let's see what it looks like. A platter preview. I got a slice. All right, so that is going to be larger than I bet I have a problem. That's got to be larger than my build plate because my build plate goes 205 in one direction. So I might have to shrink the llama down a little bit. Dang it. And this will probably take 90 hours to print.
so switch plate cover. So I got 2.4 for the thickness. I think I'm going to redo this and slice it again. And yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a similar measurement to you. Although this is five. All right, this one here is five. Call it six. I think my measurement's like wacky. Five and a half. And it's actual physical thickness is 2.5 the profile is about five and a half i'm gonna go back to here and let's do a measurement again see where we're at we'll go from this line to that line six and a half so we want to target five let's take away some of the face i'm gonna right click on this and move copy select faces on this okay so this was six and a half so let's go up one millimeter Now, if I measure this again, hit the I key, select that edge, that edge, five and a half. Okay, so I meet the profile of this. The next part is the actual thickness. So this will speed up the print time, so I'm reducing this thickness here. So the thickness from the top edge to this bottom edge here. Are they doing a vertical distance at an angle? I think that's at an angle. That's not going to help. So let's get rid of Can I measure from one plane to another plane? That plane, this plane? No. We'll switch, okay, so the total width is 137. Yeah, so this is larger because I'm trying to incorporate the uh, the profile of the animal. So if if the switch is into the wall some, we're okay, I'll, I'll show you how much we're overhanging. Uh, let's see, I, so we'll go from this edge here to this edge. Uh, 120 millimeters? That can't be right. I, edge number one to this edge. Uh, that's the selection. Yeah, 71 millimeters from it's almost like the entire radius around the switches, like 71 millimeters. All right, then. I think. Let's just reduce this. Move copy, or we got faces selected. Drag up negative two. Now I want to select, yeah, see, that's a problem for these screw holes now. I think I just changed all that too much. So let's undo that, and we'll come up just a little bit.
So that should be better. Okay. This is damn close to the, the full build plate. Okay, the build plate is 210. And this thing is 200, so... About a half an inch, a little bit less than a half an inch. Uh, outside perimeter around this entire switch. See if I can save this again. Print. Right, over here. 3D, delete this guy. I'll rotate X axis, 90. Range it to the center. Slice. Oh, cool. I don't know. Tight. Definitely tight. Export. And we'll go to Octo Print. Upload this guy. Save it as G code. Oh, I'm in the wrong folder. And we're going to toggle switch. This might be a quick print. Okay, have some white uh, PLA here.
I got the wrong film. Are you kidding me? Three millimeter. I can't even use this. Crap. Oh, uh. Okay, I can't use that film. It was a waste. I'm looking at the film and it's like super thick. I'm going to try this other film that I was having trouble with. This was giving me trouble because it wasn't sticking. Yeah, this filament is giving me trouble. I'm going to try it again. Uh, let's see. We'll see if this fits the build plate. What happens if it doesn't fit? Does it blow the machine apart? It's 230 by 213, which exceeds the extents of the build plate. Can't tell what's happening. It doesn't even look like it's loading it, right? Alright, here we go. Now we got some good. Finally. I need to redesign this. It's too large. So let's see if we can do it without rafts and what it does to the overall size. Z 
zero rare flares. Skirt and Brim. Alright, so the skirt we could probably play with. Uh, distance from object. Let's make it one. Let's see what happens there. Slice this. Okay, that brought it in some. And we'll export. This is closer skirt, no rift. What is this I'm looking for? <laughs> I don't even know. Toggle switch. Here we go. 10 hours. Dang. Good thing I'm starting it now. Ah, oh, this thing cooled down. So the support material, see if we can look at the layers. Only doing support material, not doing the whole thing. I'm surprised that it's not doing it. I'm concerned if there's going to be some um, sagging in this part. There's no way it's going to be able to do this. Go back to slicing. Print setting. need to understand what this means. Context of Z distance. The vertical distance between object and support material interface. Setting this to zero will prevent slicer from using speed for a first object. Force support for the first how many layers do we have before one thing? Seventeen. 
20. Just throw a ridiculous number in there. See what happens. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I exceeded what was happening. Yeah, okay, yeah, it stopped working. I get that. Thank you. I don't think I'm running the latest, latest version. Here's a little slow. I guess this is where uh, Simplify 3D would come in hand because then I could play supports manually throughout the base of that. Let's see what happens when we slice this. That really pushes out. As soon as I switch to a uh, skirt, it really pushes it out. But let's see what each layer looks like doesn't help uh, I wonder if that matters let's try printing with the other and see what happens So the model size is 209, 206, 226 by 209, 5.4. Is that true here? Oh. 
Okay, so that distance is 200. Oh, that's cool. And I saw those Christmas children uh, post. I get when it gets larger. It is so weird that it's 225 and 208. Let's try it. I'm ready to kill power on this. It sounds like it's going to break. Oh, it's close. Dang. That is legit taking up the whole axis. That is real close. Uh, no, I only have one printer. The Prusa. Right now it's still in the supports in the middle. I wonder if there's anybody who needs a three millimeter inland. Is close by because I bought three millimeter and it wasn't the right one, and I already opened it. So that stinks. All right, well, cool. I think I'm gonna go work out in the garage and start cutting up some wood for that, uh, that coffee table I'm working on. So it looks like this thing's gonna crank away. All right, so thanks for watching and joining again, Rover and Matt. And uh, we'll touch base with you later as this thing progresses. You'll see my pictures on Twitter. All right, bye now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about CR10, but who does? Uh, of course, Ron does. And um, Uncle Jesse. And Joe Mike. You know, Joe Mike Terranella. So for sure, those are in there. And then uh, Printed Solid. 
uh, has sold some. All right, very good. Bye now.